What's up, Survival? It's Optimo Methin here, and thanks for hanging out with me today, and welcome to State of Survival. Oh yeah, bud, we're here with another quick guide for you. In today's guide, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about setting up macros in State of Survival for your Explorer challenges. This is your first time visiting the channel. Consider subscribing for more daily content. If you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And to show your support, make sure to hit that like button. Real quick, before we get started, I know it's been a while since I've put out some content for you guys. I have been dealing with some personal things since uh, my cousin passed away in August. Uh, I am planning on putting out some new content for you guys starting early next week. I will be out of town for a festival this weekend, so uh, I will not have anything for the rest of this week. But keep a lookout for that. And again, I thank you guys for your continued support on the channel. All right, so today's guide is all about blue stacks and how to use it to set up macros for your Explorer challenges. So you can just basically set it, walk away, go do some chores, go eat lunch, do whatever, go to sleep. Uh, and when you come back, all your bread will uh, have gone away and you will get all that sweet loot that you guys are uh, missing in the Explorer challenges. But uh, blue stacks, you are going to need to go to the internet to get that. Download it onto your PC. Uh, it does work on uh, Apple products as well, so keep that in mind. All right, so once you guys have blue stacks installed on your PC, uh, you're going to want to go to Hero Precinct and launch your Explorer Trail. Uh, I am on a new state here, so I'm going to show you guys this using uh, my second account here uh, in a new state. We're going to be doing Trail 5. Uh, so when you select a trail, it's always going to pop you back out here into the middle of the trail here. So what you're going to want to do is go on the right hand side where it says open macro manager. You're going to want to select that. I already have a macro set up for my Explorer trails. Um, so keep that in mind. This is going to look a little bit different, but you're going to want to hit new macro here or record new macro. Make sure you got enough uh, bread here. Uh, you get one every 600 seconds, uh, so keep that in mind. You accumulate a lot of bread. Uh, but this way, you'll be able to just set it here, and you guys will see by the end of the video. I don't have to do anything once I get this macro set. So go ahead and hit New uh, Macro to record. And what you're going to want to do is slide it over to the left. Hit that. Hit Challenge. And make sure you already have auto set up here and times three. Basically, we're just going to let this run here. Um, and once this runs, uh, we're going to hit stop recording and the macro will be set. Uh, now, if you do the same boss over and over, uh, the time shouldn't matter here. Um, but once you get it going, you'll see here uh, that we already have it set up here. Um, some of these bosses, they take a little bit longer, take a little bit shorter. Um, and obviously, the higher you go, uh, it's going to get a little bit harder and the time's going to be different. So pick a challenge that you guys can complete. Um, I tend to do, I'd like to go back one trail and do walkovers. You can do close calls, uh, but I want, I want these to complete while I'm sleeping or eating lunch or doing some chores around the house. I just want this to keep playing and playing and playing. And, and um, I'm going to show you guys, once you have all this set up, make sure you guys have enough bread. Uh, you don't want to run out of bread and have this thing running and you guys end up using all your uh, your bio caps uh, for no reason if you don't need to. But we're just going to let this play here. It's almost done. We're going to fight the boss here. Like I said, each boss is a little bit different. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, so we're going to let this play here. And he is almost dead. He called out some bad guys here, so get those taken care of. All right, so now that we've defeated this boss, you're going to want to click again, click again, click again, and again, and you're back to this screen, and then you're going to want to hit stop. All right, so now that we got our macro set up, let's see what it looks like uh, going forward here. All right, so now that we got our macro set up here, you can rename it. Uh, so rename it to whatever you like. You're going to go over to the cogwheel for the settings. Uh, now you can repeat this action here uh, one time. You can do unlimited, um, and you can use zero minutes. Now you can put a buffer in here if you want to of like 30 seconds. Uh, it's just up to you. Um, now also with this, you can basically divide your, um, your bread and put in how many times you can complete this. So we're just gonna do infinite right now. So say I have, you know, 20 of these that I can do, 
you can put in here times 20 here. So let's select this and we'll do 20. It'll run 20 times and then save. And then we're gonna hit play, play macro and watch it do its thing here. So it's gonna scroll over. It's gonna select the 512. It's gonna select the challenge here and it's gonna run this. So just make sure before you start running your macro, run it one time, make sure everything's on auto, make sure you're on times three and uh, this thing will pretty much run and do its thing. That's how you set up a macro. It's pretty easy, straightforward, uh, nothing to get fussy about. Now, if you get to the end and say it takes a little bit longer than your macro, give it time, it'll catch back up. Give it its, you know, whatever, like a two minute cycle it's going through. It'll get that two minutes and then it'll start everything all back over the way you have it set. So don't, don't be uh, scared if it, you know, goes a little bit longer than you already have your macro set up. Uh, you can also just do your recordings for the first couple buttons as well, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. Let it do its thing. So the way I have it set up right now, it's going to run 20 times and then it'll stop automatically. So like I said, you can set it on infinite. You can set it to the amount of uh, bread that you have. So you just divide that number uh, by whatever it takes to um, run that challenge uh, for the Explorer Trail and just set it that way. Uh, so it's just up to personal preference how many times you want to let this thing run. Um, and we're seeing it's doing its thing. And by the time it gets to the end of this boss here, uh, the process should repeat itself and start over here. So he's going to call in some guys here. And it's pretty self-forward, easy. You guys go do your thing. Get your free rewards here and... So we're at the point here, so it's taking a little bit shorter this time. So there you go. You can see that it's clicking automatically. It's getting all the rewards. And as you can see here, it's going to start all over. So we're going to hit stop macro here. So we're going to stop that. And you can see it was going to go do another, do another event. Do another trail. All right, guys. Well, that was a quick guide on how to set up blue stacks for State of Survival Explorer Trail. If you guys enjoyed today's comment, make sure you guys comment down below. Also, leave me any feedback that you guys might have. Let me know if you guys want to see more State of Survival content as well. But as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Until next time, take it easy.